Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaken the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally, the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, right here, you'll be able to do it. What is up, you all? Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. Yeah. What do I mean? Gaining new insights, new revelations from Father God. Yeah. <clears throat> How's that a revelation, Miguel? Well, it's clarity. It's uh, it's the correct puzzle piece, right? If it's the wrong puzzle piece, it's just gonna, you're gonna be confused. But also, when you're researching and you don't understand, you're kind of confused, right? That's normal. Um, when we experience a light bulb moment, this is what I mean. We experience this. That's clarity, right? <clears throat> That's also, well, a revelation is more, it's divine. It's from Father God, right? Uh, but that's why the only thing that I can do is share you through my own life journey, right? Through my own personal life journey, through my healing, through carrying my cross. Uh, yes, that's the best way that I can share my message with you all. And just keep praying to Father God that he is ordering my steps, setting my will to the side. This is my complete and total intention and surrender to Father God's will.
so here oh Felicia Walker sister in Christ she said something in one of her videos right a few videos a few videos back where she was I made a I used some of her clips on my video right where we were dropping spiritual bombs on the kingdom of darkness uh, and she spoke about witches and warlocks right for us to do some research and so now it's been probably a month I don't know it's been longer than that maybe since that video but I was finally that stayed in my mind and I was like you know what I do well actually it, something pop, a couple videos popped up into my feed about witches uh, and their experiences right when they were still working for the darkness for the dark so I was like eh, you know what well it's here but I might as well click on it and see what you know because I've never I've never seen these videos before <clears throat> but I found a great video here this is so it blew my mind so let's check it out oh, yes. then the Lord Jesus goes to a young lady a student and tells her to come and preach to me now that lady that young girl she was 19 years by the time she was in the same course at the university with my sister mm. so she knew everything about me mm -hmm. she knew how wicked i was so the lord tells her tomorrow go preach to that boy but and the girl tells the lord jesus father send a bishop send an apostle send a pastor i can't that boy is wicked even the wicked call him wicked. Mm. And she says, the Lord told her, the great, the, the least in my kingdom is greater than the greatest in the kingdom of darkness. That's what the Lord told her. Mm. And with that, so she said in her mind, okay, let me, I will go. But I will go very early in the morning at 7 a.m. I will walk around, then come and tell the Lord, I have not found walk around your where you live yeah I, I was at the university okay so she knew where i was staying okay. in my hall of residence so for her she was like no student can be awake at 7 a.m mm. no one 7 a.m no so she knew i could not be because there's no way in my life could be awake at 7 a.m so she woke up at 7 a.m to just pretend she's coming to preach to me walk around then go back and tell the lord i obeyed but i've not found him that was her plan, she tells me. Now, that morning, I am leaving to go to the airport to pick a flight to Italy. So as I come out of my room, she meets me out of my place. So she says, oh my God, I'm finished. <laughs> so in her heart, she says, ah, let me first go back and pray. I'll preach to him later. So I pass her. Now, as I pass her, she says, the Lord told her, call him. See right there? That is divine timing. Plus, Father God's purposes. There's man's will, man's purposes, humanity. And then there's Father God's will, his plan, his, his purposes. <clears throat> the, what he predestined for us to do before we existed, before he created us. So I passed, she says, James, I didn't answer back because no one there had called me that name. I was called master, including my lecturers. Everyone called me master. Master James. Master James. Master, just master. Master. Yeah, because <laughs> even the people in police and government all called me master. So. I looked at this girl calling me James, but she could not call me master because she had a master, mm. Jesus. <laughs> mm. So I kept walking. She called again, James. She called a third time, James. 
Now, I know in the laws of the occult, if you are challenged thrice and you don't respond, you've been defeated. So in my mind, I said, but let, I'm going somewhere, but let me punish her. So I was, I'm there in anger. And I feel, so she had the ability to bring me to the point of anger mm. by just calling me. Now, that's very important because yeah. at the point of anger, you are zero your power. You've lost authority when you get angry. So in those in the kingdom of darkness, no. Anyone who has the ability to bring to a place of anger has disarmed you. So I, I had forgotten that at that point because I felt anger. I would have remained calm and confident and move on, on my work. But now, because I felt the pride in me, you know, they are so proud. So I felt like she is challenging me and I felt angry. So in my mind, I'm, I'm like, what can I do? I could, like, can I kill her here? Or can I blind her? Or can uh. I make her mad. And I could do that in a few minutes, just a second, a few seconds. I've ever done that in several lives. So I knew I could turn to her, project into her eyes and make her mad. Mm. So I said, okay, let me make her mad. She's going to undress, walk naked through campus until I return. So I turned to her to do that in my mind. And then when I looked at her eyes, to project to her eyes, f flashes of light, bolts of light were coming from her eyes and were hitting me Pew! like thrice. I said, what have I seen? I look at the guy again. Dang. I'm hit. Then, I look. <laughs> then I'm saying, what kind of person is this? I found awesome. many thousands, bishops, pastors. What kind of this? So I look at her another time. Pew! Like, and every time that flash hits me, the powers disappear. Hmm. She Y'all hear that? He's fought many individuals, pastors, preachers, many individuals. But this was Jesus he was facing through my sister in Christ. This is crazy. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just showing y'all where, where what Father God is, the Holy Spirit is teaching me, what the Holy Spirit is leading me to. You know, you can cover your eyes, turn, you know, the other way. Like if you don't, you don't want to understand what this is, but it's here. It's in the world. This is the world that we're living in. It's not just a physical world. It's a spiritual world. It's me the part. And she's not saying a word, just looking at me. Then I knew, now it's battle. Now it's battle. Because <laughs> I had never encountered such kind of power. Mm. And what kind of girl was this? I just thought it was just a young lady. So I really now had to summon support, project and call witches and wizards in the territory. All those that were serving under me. Right there on the spot, you are communicating to I'm witches and witches all around. So summoning their powers. Summoning their powers to come and help me. So in just a few minutes, 600 of them are around me. She cannot see them, but they are now around me. They are invisible to her. But me, I know, I have 600. This is crazy. I had no idea this, you know, that even people could even do this. This is crazy an army of 600. So what I need to do now is the all of other 600 form together and attack her at once in, in that 600 forces join into one. Mm -hmm. So I have to be bold enough to look at her one more time and then project, then all the 600 can attack. Mm. So she's standing there and the Lord just told her, she told me later, the Lord told her, be still and know that I'm God. Mm. And then the Lord told her, be calm. So in all this, I'm closing my eyes, I'm looking at her. She maintains a smile. Wow. It's like the smile that's like saying, I'm in charge. And she's just looking at me. So I look at her, and now I want the 600 to come at her, to attack her. And where she's standing, I'm, I'm not seeing her. I'm just seeing a pillar of light connecting into heaven wow. in a place. Oof. And then I look into the pillar of light. A man, now I know it's Jesus, he's looking at me. Wow. Just look at me. 
Now, the moment his eyes touched my eyes, I saw the 600 taking off in 600 direction, screaming and running, including Lucifer himself. He was present. I didn't know that time. They were like I could see. And she's not, she does, I'm just saying all these demons from childhood are living instantly just by a look. You know, there's this thing people say that there's a wrestle in between Jesus and Satan. It's impossible. Mm. Satan and his demons cannot fight when yeah. Jesus appears. Mm. They, no, he can't. Yeah, yeah. They can't. There's like, you know, people, oh, the devil is attacking Jesus. It's impossible. No. It can't. It can't. Why? Every knee bows and every tongue. Okay. So when he appears, Satan cannot put up a fight. There's no wrestling between the two. He has to run away. Mm -hmm. He has to go. And he, I don't know where he goes, but he has to go because I saw that moment. He just looked at me. No wrestling, no fight, no shouting, no like fire and what. Just looked at me in that pillar of light. And everything. But you were disarmed. Disarmed. You fell on the floor. So I'm, I'm standing. Oh, you're standing. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm standing. So I, I, but my eyes closed because now for the first time, I'm demonless. No demon, no spirit on me. I'm like human. Mm. So I opened my eyes to look at him and say, what kind of person is this? Now, when I opened my eyes another time, the pillar is not there. The man is not there. The girl is standing there. Mm. You get what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, and now, I just know I'm disarmed. Mm. I'm in fear for the first time in my life because I don't have a spirit. I look at her and then the Lord tells her, go to him. She begins to walk towards me and every step she takes is like an earthquake. <laughs> I could feel the ground. She, like the Lord is causing me to know who she is in the spirit. She's a giant. So she's moving and the ground is shaking. That the foundation is, so awesome. is shaking. That is so awesome. That Steps. Is so awesome. And she comes near me. So awesome. And I cannot That's run so away because I've been now arrested. I've been arrested. I can't. My feet are bound. I can't run away. And I'm in fear. Yes, Father God. Yes, Father God. Make us giants in the spirit. Make us giants in, in the Holy in, Through your Holy Spirit, Lord, we give you the reins. We give you the wheel. We give you the steering wheel to every cell, every molecule of our being. All that I am, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen. For your glory, Lord. <clears throat> I set my will to the side, Father God. Make me a giant in the spirit for the kingdom of heaven, for your glory. If, if this is according to your purposes for my life lord thank you father god thank you father god thank you lord in jesus name thank you father god thank you lord this is so awesome this is so awesome lord yeah i don't know what she's gonna do to me so she looks at me and then she gives me a hug that was my first hug in life what? at 24. i had never been hugged so she hugs me and she says James, Jesus loves you. And you don't know what that word did to me. I felt like all my faculties were being formed. Like I, for the first time in life, I cried. That was the first time I cried. The first time you cried? At I cried at 24. So she gives me this hug and I, I begin crying and she begin crying. But the cry is like a baby and a mother getting back a baby. So she's holding me tight and I'm crying like a baby. And she's also crying. And I don't know what's going on. But during the cry, there's love. There's all my emotions are being revived. Hmm. It's like I'm becoming human the first time. So she's hugging me. And then after minutes of crying and crying, then by the time some other students are gathering around us. And they're wondering what's going on. And, and they're saying, this is a witch, we know him. This is a believer, a Christian. And they are hugging <laughs> and they are crying. So they're wondering, who is capturing? Who's converting who? Who's converting who? And so they're forming a sack around me. Oh my word. So after they, they cry, I'm crying, then she says, James, what do you want? Then I remember I told her, I need Jesus. Then she tells me, talk to him, mm -hmm. tell him. So I said, Jesus, I want to serve you. I don't know why I said that, I want, I want to serve you. So she led me in the prayer of confession. And do I say, 
It was 7.45 a.m. 7.45 a.m. 3rd September. 3rd September. 1999. 7.45 7 a.m. I can't remember the time. I can't forget the time and the moment. Because now it's tw over 24 years. But it's as if it happened yesterday. It's so real. That, that experience of, of coming from the dead. Now, what <sighs> I want to say, Man. the devil used me and wanted to destroy me. I was fighting Jesus, but he loved to, wanted to save me. Look at that love. That even when I was his enemy, he still gave me a chance. Mm. He still loved me. Even when I was his enemy, I deserved death. Mm. Even to the devil I was serving, I deserved death. Incredible. But Jesus loved me to the extent that he said, I can give you a chance. Shigaraki killed so many innocent people. He hurt those I care about. But still, I don't know what I should do next, that's true. And I get that the only way to stop him might be to kill him, but... I want to save that little kid! And that's why we'll follow you. So powerful, so powerful. <laughs> so this is this is this is the world that I live in. This is what I see. This is what I understand. This is what Father God is revealing to me. <clears throat> this is why I appreciate anime because, like everything in this world, some things may be are not in alignment with the Word of God, but here, Father God, He's speaking to me. And if you haven't suffered, you haven't been through pain in your life, you, you may not understand what I am speaking about. You may be consciousless. You may be heartless, right? You may be broken. There's different types of broken. My type of broken, I feel everyone's pain, right? Like I see someone walking down the street and I get this, like I wanna give them a ride, except I don't know if they're a safe individual, if they're a good person, right? Like, and this isn't like to say I'm better than everyone, not what I'm saying. Don't twist my words, Satan. Remember, what is the message that Miguel here is trying to communicate to me. What are you trying to communicate to me, Father God, through this, through Miguel? <clears throat> through this channel catching puzzle pieces, right? Um, but yeah, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. It blew my mind when I saw this video. I'm about to start looking into more of these videos. So get ready. I'm going to share some. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you for your time. Keep going. Keep informing yourself. Keep researching. Keep applying this information to your life. Um, if you've been watching, if you've been sticking with the channel and you've been applying uh, the information that I've been sharing with you all, then you should understand what I am saying by apply it to your life, right? Keep running these new insights through your, through your mind. Build, build that relationship with Father God with only the holy spirit there's other spirits but those are all the other angels that came down to earth with satan right those are the other spirits that are here on earth the only spirit that is of father god well yeah it's the holy spirit it's the one that's our teacher our comforter he is our teacher he is our comforter he is in a person <coughs> He has feelings. I learned this from Dr. Miles Monroe. And uh, yes. So keep going. Keep grinding, warriors. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, I'm broken too. If you are broken, it's all good. In God's kingdom, 
you are accepted no matter what you have done in your life right here is a beautiful example a perfect example of a, such a powerful testimony uh, if Jesus accepted this this warlock this witch he will accept you too no matter what Satan is telling you in your mind trying to tell you that you are unworthy and that he won't accept you just like he's doing it with me now because of my 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 brokenness my trauma right I'll see you on the next video <clears throat> God bless you me is thank trying you, to Father make Nick, you focus you, on Nick, the things for, that don't seem to be fitting the puzzle. Thank you for sustaining me. I was sitting here praying this morning and I was asking they better open their mouth. They better open their mouth and confess. Because when all hell breaks loose, you will be placed on high ground and untouched. See, that's the benefit of confessing. Just say I did it. You know, these people, they just better say I did it. They better say I judged you. They better say what they did to you. They better say I talked about you. They better say I judged you. They better say I used you. They better say I had fault. Confess what they have done. And until you confess, instead of just praying, it's going to continue. It's going to continue to get harder for them. God in his word gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me i'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me i can't keep it to myself i have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and i have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of god right so i have to do my due diligence by sharing what the lord gives how you want to go and how you want to get there you got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. The mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics, I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?